prepping finds at estate sales. The past three weekends I have attended three or four different estate sales and each one that I attended I have found old style gasoline cans and let me tell you I find that I will pay whatever they have on these as prices. Now also it seems that every a lot of these estate sales Saturday is the, uh, the first day and Sunday is the second day so a lot of times the second day everything's half price on Sunday which I've learned again haven't attended many estate sales up to recently so this one I did pay six dollars for which was marked six bucks and actually it is full of gasoline that is the one drawback of buying these is you don't know how old the fuel is in them uh, it's only two and a half gallons so my plan is to well I could one dump it in the woods uh, out back of the house but that's not very envir environmentally safe probably to do that or I could just uh, with my other gasoline cans as they get low uh, just kind of fill the bottom with each uh, with the older fuel and mix it with fresh fuel um, and I'm thinking that might be what I do um, and while I'm at the estate sales I'm just opening them and checking to make sure that it's not a fuel mix you know with oil and fuel um, and even if it was a mix I'm sure I would still buy the can I could probably clean it out enough to where I could just put gasoline in it I wouldn't know the best way of cleaning it if you, anyone has any suggestions uh, I'd certainly be open to listening to them uh, but anyway the uh, the one in the back here the gallon and a half can uh, I think we paid I think it, I'm, I'm going to say, I think five bucks is written on that one, but I think we paid three for it. Or we offered them three and they took it. And the metal one, uh, I paid two dollars for. And that's a two and a quarter gallon. So the way I feel about this is the aggravation of buying the new gas cans, because the government has all the answers and the EPA thinks that we're spilling a lot less fuel by using these gas cans that are obviously engineered by people that have never used a gas can before. So, it is my recommendation that you look for older ones. And even whatever's in them, you can clean them out or add fresh fuel to it or whatever. Uh, I think it's just a great way, a great find. And estate sales, man, there's just so many tools and uh, housewares and plates and pots and pans and uh, you know where you don't find all that at a yard sale when you go to an estate sale usually the whole house is up for sale so a lot of good finds in the basement and garages and I've been very fortunate to find these three cans and hope to find many 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 more and I don't care if I have 30 two two and a half gallon uh, gas cans as long as they all pour when I need them then I can always go back to the gas station and fill up the other 29 or 30 when I'm when they're empty. Um, I, I don't know. This is just a, a new passion of mine now, a new hobby of collecting old gas cans that work. Screw you, EPA. As always, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Later, guys. Can you say bye-bye?